Hey guys, and welcome to another week of WoW Weekly with Mist. For this week's events, we have Battlegrounds and Darkmoon Fair. And also, all month, we will have the 100% rep buff, so you can go into Legion and BFA as long as there's a Paragon cache attached to it. It applies the 100% rep buff. Okay, so for goals, the goal for this past week was to level alts through the time walking. I didn't really do that. I have been doing a couple of my glory achievements. So that, yeah, that got uh, incomplete. But I am going to be doing some leveling tonight. I had to cancel Friday's stream due to the hive mind videos taking me a while to put together. So um, so we're going to do some leveling. Um, it's going to be on my Dark Iron Dwarf, which is around 82. And yeah, so won't get leveled through time walking, but honestly, the important part of that goal was the level alts part. Um, yeah, the only reason they won't get leveled in time walking, because time walking will still be going on tonight, but because it's panda time walking, the characters have to be 91 plus. And this week's goals is going to be the Rajani rep. I'm really close. Here you see it on screen. And with the 100 rep buff, it's going to take no time to knock it out. It will for sure be complete this week. And that's basically all I've got planned for goals for this week. I know that leveling is usually a goal for me. And when, when the guildies want to level the Dark Iron Dwarfs, we will. But now that the rep buff is back, this is my opportunity to build up my gold again so that I can go into Shadowlands with some money. And yeah, so I'm kind of done with leveling. I have been leveling non-stop pretty much since the leveling buff came out, which was a month ago. So, and I've done pretty good. I've got two allied races right now that have their heritage set from it. I have another character that got to max. I have another allied race that's like a couple of days away from their heritage set, and then another that's getting pretty close. So I'm I'm ready to kind of step back from all that. I really don't care to do much more leveling. I'm still going to do it here and there, of course, but it's not the focus anymore. Pre-patch is going to show up, and I'm going to level probably faster than I do right now. So, so I personally would prefer to use this entire month to the rep. I don't need the rep. Rajani's really the last exalted I need. Everything else is sitting at exalted. But it's Paragon Caches. It's a way for me to earn extra gold. And honestly, this has been one exp expensive expansion. I have gone through the most gold I have ever <laughs> gone through in one single expansion, all in BFA. So it's funny because, you know, a lot of people don't like BFA and I'm one of those people. I thought BFA was crap, but as far as mount collections and money spent, it's definitely the one, you know, <laughs> it's the one expansion where you spend a shit ton of money and you can get a lot of stuff. You know, like, I got a lot of mounts, a lot of pets, and a lot of toys this expansion. I'm not going to really put another goal because there's no point. I'm not going after a specific rep. I'm just going after whatever Paragon Cash gets to me first. So, um, so yeah, the only goal for this week will be Rajani rep. Uh, one thing that I'd like to throw in goals and accomplishments, it's not really game accomplishments, but because of doing the hive mind video, it's a little, little tough to get in contact with people for the hive mind. And 
I completely understand not wanting to put info over to the YouTube page. So what I did is I created a community for us. So definitely check the link out for that. It's in the video. And I also put it on the front page of my YouTube. So where you see the Patreon link and you know, my other, my wow character link and my IO and all that, it is right in with all that stuff. So feel free to join the community if you want. Uh, I do a lot of achievement runs, you know, glory achievements being one big one. And, um, and yeah, so just thought I'd mention that, that that is there now. And, uh, and that covers goals and accomplishments. So let's move over to news. Okay, so for the first piece of news, I'll be talking about the requirements for Shadowlands. So in the beginning, they were mentioning that you would need an SSD drive. Uh, now they are saying either an SSD and 100 gig available space or a hard drive with 100 gig available space as someone who has kind of swapped uh, from a hard drive to an SSD. I did that back in Legion, even although those are the minimum requirements, I would highly suggest if you, you know, got the money and you can do it to put well on an SSD, because ever since I did that, well loads super fast. So even although they have taken that off and put that you can run Shadowlands on a hard drive. They just mean it'll actually run. Uh, they're, you know, the loading screens will be quite frequent. And uh, rumor is we're going to have a lot of loading screens in Shadowlands. So I would still go with the solid state. But if you can't afford it, you'll still be able to run Shadowlands. Okay, so the next piece of news is involving the drums we have in the game. Uh, usually they are used if you don't have a shaman, hunter, or mage for the haste buff. And right now we know them to be 25%. In Shadowlands, it will be 15%. Okay, so the next piece of news has to do with the pre-patch. As you guys know, I like to try to keep as much of the PTR and beta stuff out as much as possible because I like to be surprised with new content and I also know some of you guys like to as well. So if you are interested and you you know need to know before the stuff comes out, definitely go to Wowhead and stuff to find out more. But as far as my channel goes, I don't um, I don't like to spoil anything for you guys. And I like people knowing they can watch the videos without getting spoils. So I'm not going to tell you anything regarding pre-patch quest lines or any of that stuff. You know, and there is stuff that could be spoiled because I was in a group the other day and they actually spoiled something. <laughs> so, so I'm going to not do that to you guys. But the one thing I did want to um, to tell you guys is that there will be a new bag. And it's called the Papa's Mint Condition Bag. And it is a 34 slot bag. It will drop off of Bronjam, which is um, an undead. He's a rare elite. So that might be something you may be interested in. I know 34 isn't really a huge increase. I think the biggest bag right now is 32, but that's the way it goes. I've been pissed at Blizzard every expansion for that shit. How our bag slots are only getting up to like two per expansion, you know, because me, my alts are pretty okay for room, but my main has collected so much stuff since 2004 that I just never have room. 
I have been struggling for the past probably eight years of having a full bank and full inventory. I go into a new expansion with maybe 10 empty spots in my bags. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. And I always hope that I don't get quests where you have to hold on to a lot of items. So, yeah. So, I will definitely probably go after that bag. I do have the top bag right now, the one uh, that the the tailor can make. And I just can't remember how many slots that is. I think it's 32, so I think this would still be an increase. Okay, so I read a little further into this to give you guys some info on the bag. And there is only one other 34 slot bag in the game right now. So this is a unique, you know, we'll still call it a unique because, <laughs> because the other one is sold for half a million. So it's more the bag that you could easily get your hands on probably. You know, it is still a chance to drop, but at least you wouldn't be paying half a mil. Although I wonder who the hell pays half a mil for, you know, a bag. But the Mad Merchant in Legion um, sells it, which means the 34 slot bag existed last expansion, I guess. But yeah, like I said, it it goes for half a million. So I'm not sure if you would want to do that. Okay, one last piece of news for you guys. And this is involving some Shadowlands mounts. So, rumor is that we are going to be given a Shadowlands mount for free sometime in the game. And we get to vote on that mount. And the choices are the Wandering Ancient, the Soaring Spell Tomb, Nerubian Swarmer, Curious Caterpillar, and Gooey Slime Saber. The pictures here are not exactly what they're going to look like, but an idea of what they could look like. There's also been some artwork from fans that they have done, and I'll show you guys those as well. Me personally, I'm steering towards the spell tomb, to be honest. I, I really was a fan of a lot of that stuff, like the flying saucer I really liked. And I really like the, the mages uh, class hall mount. So I am definitely steering towards that. A lot of people are probably surprised that I'm not going after the tree because being a druid and I love the trees and all. Um, but as far as uniqueness, I just feel like the spell tomb is um, Swarmer. Yeah, he's okay. It just looks like a recolored blood feaster, though, in a sense. The caterpillar with some better artwork, maybe. And the gooey slime saber. Like, I love my cat mounts and all. I have a shit ton. But the slimy saber cat, I feel like that should be a pet rather than a mount. You know, like, I, I just don't feel like it should even be a mount. You know? So, to be honest, I instantly disliked that one. So that knocked one out of the park, like, immediately, pretty much. I would say either the mage book or the tree. So as far as the voting, we have till September 18th to do these votes. I'm going to leave links in the description. There'll be a link to the US site for you to vote for a mount. And there'll also be a link to the EU site for you to vote. So on the topic of the fan art that I just showed you guys, I think the community has done a really good take on these kind of mounts. And honestly, the one I was impressed with was the Slime Saber, to be honest. I still don't think I would ever choose it as a mount, but it went from being completely horrible 
to actually kind of tolerable through this fan art. So, you know, yeah, I, I think that that piece of art was really good. To be totally honest, I'm surprised I don't like it more. People who know me know that I love the cat mounts. Like, I, they are the ones I target first. I am a huge cat person, so it is so unlike me to not be voting for a cat mount, even with lots being in the game. But this one, just not my style. All of the art that the fans have done has been really good, so... But keep in mind, this is just fan art. This is not how it's gonna look. Um... Yeah, we have no idea what these are gonna look like. Like, Blizzard just kind of put out a voting system and didn't even give us, like, anything to base it off of. So, that's, you know, it's kind of the bad part of it, is you gotta kind of just guess the only one we really have a true picture of was the cat. Which is probably why I immediately dismissed it. Personally, the biggest issue I have with the voting is the fact that we have nothing to base it on. They haven't released any models. It's hard to vote for something that you can't see with your own eyes. Like, for example, the tree, I believe, is in the running mainly because Towelly told everyone to vote for the tree. And, um, you know... That's all fine and all, but no one has any idea what the complete model of the tree is going to be, right? So they could all technically be voting for something that looks completely horrible. I, I really do think that they shouldn't have even put a voting system in for this until the artists were done with the models. Uh, many years ago when we voted for the Horde and Alliance choppers, we knew what they looked like. You know, we knew exactly what we were voting for. I haven't voted and I probably won't because I, I can't vote on something that I have no info on. You know, just telling me what it is, it just is nothing. I, I definitely think they should have waited for final products or something, or at least close to, at least something that gives the public at least a slight idea on what it would look like as a mount. That's honestly where the fan art really kind of comes in. That's your best choice for voting, but still it's fan art and it it's not going to be the way the Blizzard art team does it right but they may take ideas from it so it may have similarities now on the topic of the voting system here personally i think we're gonna have all those mounts so it really doesn't matter what you vote for whatever you do vote for and if it wins is gonna be the freebie mount right but i personally think that one of those five will be our freebie mounts, and then the other four, periodically through the expansion, will be released in the Blizzard store. That's what I think is going on with these. So, you know, also again, that's just a hunch, no confirmation on that. But I don't think they would create these models and hype you up for this kind of stuff if they didn't actually have someone designing each and every one. Now, uh, one thing I do hope is that the Blizzard team that's designing these mounts are doing, you know, a really good job, you know, similar to the fan art I just showed you, because, uh, because these are really good ideas. You know, having a caterpillar as a mount, that is something that's never been done in WoW. That's very unique. Uh, the spell tomb is unique. Uh, the tree is pretty unique. Um, the other two, not so much. Like, 
you know, I guess we, we haven't had a slime cat before, but we have plenty of cats. And, um, and then the Swarmer, like I said, it just looks like a recolor of Blood Feaster, which is, like, now a mount that sells for, like, 10,000 gold. So I, I really hope they do a good job on that one, because it would suck for it to look like a mount that's super cheap on the auction house right now. Okay, and so that concludes this week's WoW Weekly, guys. Not too, too much for news, um, but the, the pre-patch is still in testing. We probably have a couple more weeks of that, and then we should see pre-patch shortly. So I'm expecting that we'll actually see a date fairly soon. And yeah, because we are we are already kind of getting close to release date and that's all i got for you guys so hope you're having fun and wow hope you're getting everything that you um are trying to knock out we'll see you in the next one bye guys